Alright, so to see how fast Link is, we're going to experiment with how fast he can run a 100 meter dash. At the moment, we have the coordinates negative 100 on the very left of the other two coordinates. These coordinates are the X, Y, and Z planes. And Tears of the Kingdom is the only Zelda game to have them. What's so important about these coordinates? Well, as far as we know, and have concluded, a coordinate equals 1 meter, meaning this should be a 100 meter dash. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Okay, so Link, even with full stamina, can't run the entire time of the 100 meters, which is kind of surprising, sad, and funny at the same time. So what I decided to do is to give him even more stamina with a stamina drink. And with that extra stamina, he finished the race in about 12 seconds. After that, I wanted to see how fast he can run the 100 with full armor and weapons. What? He ran the exact same time. This makes no sense because we added about 200 pounds to him, if not more, but he ran the exact same speed. This should mean that he can go a lot faster than what we just saw. But how do we make Link go faster than his top end speed? Steroids. I'm halfway kidding. You see, there are foods and some elixirs that make Link faster. Are they steroids? I have no clue. But, if we have Link run with a triple speed food, he runs a 100 in an insane time. The time of 9.38. If that doesn't sound too fast, well, to give you some info, the world record is 9.58, meaning he would have destroyed the world record. Now, you might think that that's the end of his speed, but that isn't even close to what he's capable of. If you played Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, you probably know of bullet time or flurry rushes. Now, if you don't know what these are, I'll give a little recap. Bullet time is what happens when Link is midair and tries to shoot his bow. What happens is he slows down time besides himself. He can still react at a regular speed. Now there are flurry rushes, which is what happens when Link dodges an attack perfectly. Perfect! What he does is he slows down time and has a flurry of attacks ready for the enemy. But what do these have anything to do with Link's speed? Well, if he can slow down time itself, then that means Link can go way faster. But how can I calculate the speed with these? Well, let's just forget about bullet time because it doesn't really matter in this circumstance. Instead, let's focus on flurry rushes. With flurry rushes, when Link hits the ground, he starts running sliding really fast towards his enemy. Now, all I have to do is see how long it took him to reach his enemy. That's all I have to do, because I have a theory. You see, what I believe is that it doesn't matter where you are when you do the flurry rush. Instead, you will always get the same speed. So if I'm 10 meters away, 100, or even 10,000, the time would still be the same. All I have to do is do some flurry rushes. Now, I'm going to do this in Breath of the Wild because of a glitch called a Thunderclap Rush. A Thunderclap Rush is using a bomb and your shield to do a double jump. From there, you click the attack button and ZR to trigger your bow and the sword at the same time. Now, you shoot, land, and do a flurry rush from wherever you would like. Why does this matter? Well, to see if my theory was correct, because I can now do flurry rushes from up close and a lot farther away. Now, let's do some flurry rushes. After looking at every frame of the flurry rushes, it turns out that if you're closer it takes 0.16 seconds and at mid distance is 0.18 or 0.20 seconds, but if you're further away it is 0.22 seconds. So sadly my theory was not correct, which would have made things a lot easier for me. Instead I'm going to have to do some math. Now math is a big no-no for me, but I'll do it on one condition. You subscribe and give me a like.
I'm kidding. That's only if you think I deserve it. Either way, thanks for watching this far, and here's the plan of attack for the math. You see, when Link does a flurry rush, he leaps backwards or to the side. Then he lands on the ground and charges his enemy. Well, all I have to do is see how long it takes Link to charge the enemy and see how far he went. Then after that, I would just multiply the distance to get 100 meters. Then I multiply whatever number that gave me by the time. If that seems confusing, that's probably because I didn't explain it well. Now, let's get back to Tears of the Kingdom. Why? Because Tears of the Kingdom, as I mentioned before, is the only game that has coordinates. So, here's a flurry rush. What happened was Link traveled 7 meters in 0.16 seconds. Now, if you divide 100 by 7, it equals 14.3. Next, we multiply that by 0.16, and the answer is 2.3 seconds. This means Link can run a 102.3 seconds, a 409.2 seconds, and a mile in 36.8 seconds. This is absolutely insane, but... What if Link runs out of stamina? <laughs> he can't. As long as Link has extra stamina elixirs, he can stop time itself, drink the elixir, and get back to running. Doesn't that mean Link has unlimited speed though, considering the fact that he can stop time and move around? I don't think so. I consider that as some sort of reaction time, because he doesn't walk around when he stops time, he stays in the same place. That's why, when he does move, he can slow down time like a flurry rush, but he can't stop time. And speaking of time, you've heard of Majora's Mask, right? It's a pretty cool Zelda game, but I know a fact that makes it even cooler. And if you want to know it, it's in this video right here. Go and give it a watch. See ya.